वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंदु समन्वितम श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंदसहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाचाकल्पतरुवश के पास इंद्र व्यवच पतिदान पावनेभ्य वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोतिवाचाल पंगुंगलंघितिर ये पातमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाद बृंदा तुलसी देव वै पिया वै केशवश चक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा पिभवन भविष्य दूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेतात्म पुनत बाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुरीजीत गोपूषर्शी पूर्णानुरागर सुसागर सारमूर्ति साराधि का मही कदा कि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीआदित गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीआदित गाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कन का बदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंद दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ूपेन सदा नरन गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वरानसी पुरापति भजवे सनाथ वागी सजुषने लक्ष्मीजस्व भक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीत पम निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे तेतिक्षव कारुणिक सुहृद सर्वदेना अजातशत्रव शाता साधव 
साधुभूषण तिथिक्षव कारुणिक सुहृद सर्वदेन अजात शत्रु शात साधव साधुभूषण गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुभा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड वैष्णवाज आवार मोस्ट ओरसिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट दोज वैष्णवाज दोज वैष्णवाज आवार मोस्ट ओरसिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट इवन मोर देन भगवान Even Bhagwan come in front of me, I can pay Dandavat fast to Vaishnavas. Who is Bhagwan? Who knows? Who knows who is Bhagwan? If they are not going to, if they are not going to tell, not going to teach us is Bhagwan this, is Supreme Lord. Then how I can know? All Bhagwat Tattva, everything, we can know by the causeless mercy of Bhagwan. About the cause, this mercy of Guru Vishnu was. So Guru Vishnu was they are more and more merciful, worshipable than me, them worshipable than Bhagwan. They are more and more worshipable than Bhagwan himself. If I am going to take the nice picture of Dhameshwar Gauranga Nityananda to some place in Africa. Some place in Africa, they have no knowledge about what is this picture. They have no idea. Can you expect they can pay Dandavat to Goranga Nithyananda by watching this picture? Can you expect? They have no idea. Who is it? No idea. So, always remember, Bani Gaura. is more important than gorang mapu himself try to understand my what i mean to say bani gora i am in the sabda brahma by the help of which i can represent all the glories and excellence of goranga is more important than gorang mapu himself though we know bani gora and goranga non different i know bani goranga Bani Gaur and Gauranga non different. I know, but still I am going to speak this way. I can give more importance to Bani Gaur because otherwise who can know who is picture, who is he? You should remember this. So any outside people, those who have no idea about who is Gauranga Mahapu Supreme Lord or uh, who knows who is he. So Guru Vishnu is going to introduce us. Never try to forget. Always try to express gratitude. Every fraction of second. It is my advice to you. Always and every fraction of second, you try to express your gratitude. Under the Lord's direction, we have done a lot. Because without Guru Vishnu, there is no possibility that we can understand. गौरांग नित्यानंद राधा गोविंद वी नीड टू गेट वी नीड टू एंजॉय हंड्रेड परसेंट की पा गुरु विष्णु वी नीड टू एंजॉय हंड्रेड परसेंट की पा ऑफ गुरु विष्णु बिकॉज इफ नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट इफ फिफ्टी परसेंट रियलाइजेशन कैन नॉट कम थियोरिटिकली आई कैन नो आ दिस इज गौरांग इज दाम ऑफ गौरांग माई लेक्चर ऑल my lecture all can go to water cannot touch your heart my hari katha my hari katha can change your life provided you are sincere many time prabhupad used to say many time prabhupad used to say maybe big big exalted devotees they are speaking hari katha but still i cannot feel any reaction prabhupad speaking It is possible when there is Vaishnava prat. 
when there is Vaishnava Pura, then big, big exalted devotees, like Bhakti Mitra Prabhupada can speak Harikatha. Still it cannot touch your heart. Because that aparat can prevent you, that apara can prevent you from realizing that harikatha. It is one kind of insulation, you know, insulation. Insulation, you know, if you're doing a current job, you have to take rubber pad or you have to wooden, through which current you know, cannot go. Plastic. So it is called insulative insulation. So my heart cannot touch that Harikatha. That Harikatha cannot touch my heart because of some insulation in between that Harikatha and that Harikatha is equal to Hari. Harikatha is equal to Hari. That Harikatha cannot touch because Harikatha and my real self in between there is one insulation. There is one insulation. So, Baba say big, big exalted devotees, powerful. When speaking Harikatha, still it cannot touch your heart. If there is Vaishnava Parat. Otherwise, Harikatha 100% going to change your life. No question of any doubt. So, Vaishnavas, they are our most worshipable object. More and more and more than Bhagavan. More and more Bhagavan. Can you expect that kind of Vishnu can have some fault? Can you expect that kind of pure Guru Vishnu can have some fault? You can expect. Pope are laughing. Pope are laughing. Watching the mood of some so-called Acharya devotees, Bhakti Mimitakur Prabhupada, they are finding fault with Guru Vishnu. Useless. Useless? You have no basic idea about what is Vishnu. You are going to pass this kind of remark? You go through Chaitanya Chaitamito, what kind of, 20, 26, 26 different kind of qualities are mentioned there in Chaitanya Chaitamito. 26 oh, only 26 but countless qualities are possible in a Vaishnava countless divine qualities can decorate a Vaishnava if you have your eyes you can see if you are blind like Daksha Prajapati you can speak all rubbish against Guru Vaishnava impossible Chaitanya Chaitamita, you can go through 26 qualities specially. But, 26 qualities is nothing. After that, countless qualities can decorate a Vaishnava. And we know it very sure from our Shastra, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun, Sakali Sanchari. Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun, Sakali Sanchari. What, what, what all qualities are there, you can find in Krishna. All qualities can go and decorate ah, the heart of Guru Vishnu. It's quite natural. Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun Sakali Sanchari. In a Krishna Bhakti, inside the heart of Krishna Bhakti, all qualities of Krishna automatically going. Automatic, like like water, like water always, like water always from up to down. Water down flow is possible. Up flow, water up flow possible. Water going up is possible. Not possible. Water going up possible. Not possible. Water downfall from up down. That's why from Krishna, all transcendental qualities. Countless qualities come coming to decorate the heart of pure Guru Vishnam. So it is my request to you all. Never try to find any fault any Vaishnav. Of course, if you are really interested to do Hari Bhajan. This is my first request unto your lotus feet. Don't try to find any fault with Guru Vishnam. Don't try to fault any 
find any fault with Guru Vaishnava. That's why Paramahansa Guru Patva Sela Bhakti Pumat Purigashi Maharaj wanted to write one book named Heart of Krishna, Vaishnava Bhara. He was, he was very much concerned. He was very much concerned about common people, those who are not devotee. He can. Vaishnavas are these, Vaishnavas are these, they are, they are doing this all right. Whereas, whereas, Vaishnavas are stainless. Vaishnavas are stainless, pure. Even Krishna and his father cannot come to find fault with Vaishnavas. Krishna together with his father, Nanda Baba, everybody, all his family members can come, cannot find any fault with Guru Vaishnava. Nirdosh, Badanno, Suchi. You know Bengali, Sanskrit? You go there. You can try to get all meaning. It is written. Nirdosh, first of all, it is written. Chaitanya you can open today, you can see. Nirdosh, Nirdosh, flawless, stainless. Badanno, overflowing mercy. Suchi. So purity there, even Krishna cannot find purity in himself. I'm joking actually, actually. So much purity in Vaishnava. Nirdos, Badano, Suchi. All different 26 qualities. Where from you are going to find so much fault with Vaishnavas? Where from you are going to find so much fault with Vaishnavas? It's a one kind of, you know, joking. Whereas Prabhupada is going to find out. They are elevated devotees, fine, pure, so much kripa they are enjoying. They are all enjoying so much kripa of Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. After that, if, if I say, oh, they are fallen so they have no idea. It is just like a joking. Like, like Pitama Abhisha, very important Siddhanta, you forget then it is great mistake for you. Pitama Bhisha is one of twelve Mahajan. Twelve Mahajan? Out of twelve Mahajan, Pitama Bhisha, Pitama Bhisha, Pitama Bhisha is one of them. Shangur, Narada, Shambhu, Kumara, Kapila, Manu, Pralhad, Vishma, Janako, eh? Balir, Vayasu, Kirvayam, Dado, Saita, Vijayanimo, Dharmam, Bhagavatam, Bhatta, Guhyam, Vishuddham, Durvadhyam, Yadgyata, Amrita Mashmute. I mean, to get Amrita, to get Amrita, you will have to catch the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu. Because they are having the stock of Amrita there. They can distribute you. Not forcefully. I can fight Vaishnav, I can kill, I can kick Vaishnav. Ah, give me Amrita. No, not possible. You will have to be very submissive. So submissive. Is my first request to you. Always try to think. You have no existence in the infinity world. You can discover your existence. You can discover your existence in the infinity world. Try to show me. You try to show me what is your identity. In the infinity world. Then how I can express? How I can express false ego? How I can insult Guru Vaishnava? It is a blunder mistake. You are making basic mistake. There, big problem. Impossible. A Vaishnava can have Popa speaking, Popa laughing. Popa speaking, a Vaishnava has some defects. It is like it is like Shonar Pathorvati, Bengali. It is just like golden, it is like golden stone pot. Papa joking, Papa speaking, it is just like a golden stone pot. Stone pot is stone pot, golden is golden. Golden stone pot, Shonar Pathorvati. What is this? Stone is stone, gold is gold. Golden stone pot, how possible? We never heard Prabhupada laughing. Vaishnavas, they have some defects. You are going to find out so many defects. 
Oh my God, you are blind. Like Daksha Pajapati, cannot see, cannot see the divine qualities of Sankar Bhagavan. Is a Paramahansa. Come on, is Paramahansa, topmost Paramahansa, Vaishnavanam. But he cannot see. He's blind. He's blind. He's blind. Going to speak all rubbish. Monkey lies eyes. His eyes is like monkey. Uh, it is by the by the by the order of uh, Brahma. I was bound to give my uh, sweet daughter in his hand. It is like monkey. No sochachar, no purity, nothing. All is staying in a you know crematorium ground using all cosmetics, all the you know dust of the you know crematorium ground, ashes of the last. They are going to use as powder everything. So useless. Huh? I have done mistake. I have done a great mistake by the order of Brahma. See the adversity. See the adversity. Topmost Vaishnav, whom Bhagavan Sri is not going to catch the lotus feet of Shankar. Bhagavan Sri is not. He is himself Gauranga Mahapu. Eh? Going to catch the lotus feet of Advaita Gosai. Oh my God, he liked to insult him. Can see? Never try to express this kind of audacity to insult Vaishnava. Deva. Better you can go away. Don't do bhajan. Still you can get scope next life. But one time if you make some Vaishnava Bharat, never, never, you can never get chance. Never get chance. So Popa speaking, Vaishnavas, they have some defects. They have some fault, they have some different kind of, you know, the defects you can find, fault, it's not possible. Vaishnavas are pure, always pure, always. That's why, not only in Bhagavatam, but also in all Shastra, everywhere, you can find the glorification of Vaishnavas. You can find the glorification of Vaishnavas. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Vaishnavas are my heart. Sadhunam hidam majyam. Hello. Sad Those sadhu is my heart, I am their heart. They don't like to know anything except me. I also don't like to don't like to hear anything without Vaishnavas. Now I am going to publish one article very shortly where I can point out all the Siddhanta Vicharu Gorangma who going to speak from different places. I can show Gorangma who is speaking. If somebody is going to do Vaishnava Prat. I can never deliver him. Never, never. I can never deliver. If one drunkard, having some woman association, going to identify himself as sannyasi, but no Vaishnava Parat, still I can deliver them. Written. But one Vaishnava Parat means, I can throw him out. I don't like to see his face. Bhagavan don't like to see his face. Bhagavan don't like to see his face. And Bhakti Thakur also don't like to see face. Opa don't like to see his face who is doing Vaishnava Parat. So I told you yesterday, I have done a very simple mistake out of affection. Who is committing Vaishnava Parat? He break his sannyas, everything he already told me. I, my sannyas is gone. Again, I arrange one Maharaj, you can. Recite mantra because out of affection, what to do? First of all, I arrange his sannyas from Santamara. He commit me, he promised me, I am not back. After that, break everything. Committing countless of other association bad. Suddenly, he come in Gosala with something. Ah, Maharaj, out of that was my mistake, out of affection. I say, come, come, come. Give, give prasad. Bas. Bhagavan become angry with me. 
Simple mistake. Bhagavan became angry. Why you give affection? Because in Shastra it is written, those who are Vashrama Pradi, you should avoid is written it already. Already written in Shastra. But why you? Then I couldn't speak Harikatha next day. Then I go to Nishinga Prabhu, I have done mistake. I cannot make any mistake anymore, okay? It's my simple mistake because out of affection, okay. When I, dist that item, what you bring, I give to some, distribute to some people and the, he brings something, I say to Tarun Prabhu, immediately you bring some pranami, though we have no money, but still you take money and give to him. Well, Maharaj give you. So that balance. So you see, simple mistake. And that England devotee, he has done mistake. He was contaminated with his wife. And suddenly, he, when I come, I touch my heart. From then, I become sick for three days. So it's practically they know. So, we should not see the face of Vaishnava, uh, Vaishnava Paradi. You should not see the face of Vaishnava If he is my father, is my guru, my guru, Vaishnava Paradi. I cannot see his face. It is the Siddhanta of Shastra that you cannot see his face. If you see face, you have to suffer for that. Cannot see, avoid see. Bhakti Muttagur also speaking. Vaishnava charitro sadai pavitro je ninde hingshakuri bhakati vinod na samma se sare sada thake maunahari. We should not see the space of Vaishnava Paradi. So dangerous. So, those who are the eternal parshad of Prabhupada, it is quite natural. You have no right to criticize. If you say, in Gauriya society, so much problem, fight. For this I can criticize Gauriya Mad. Gauriya Mad is not the construction of brick and stone. This is not. Cement. Gauriya is aprakita. When you are going to criticize, that means you have jealousy inside you. Must charge you. Big problem. You can never get excuse. If I say in Krishna Lila, there is Kansa, Agasur, Bhagasur, Putana came, the Krishna Lila is useless. I can speak this. In Krishna Lila, you can find Kansa, Jarasandha, Putana, Agasur, Bhagasur, hey, all they are contaminated. Krishna Lila is useless. Krishna Lila you can throw away. We can say this way. Krishna Lila is full of Ram Lila, is full of Ravan, these, there are so many witches, so many, you know, Rakshas. So I can, I can, for that reason, I can say, oh, uh, we can throw away Ramayan. You cannot say. We can say just opposite. I mean, rightly. He was speaking just opposite. We can say, those demons, those demons, the Rakshas, they are going to enrich. The Leela of Gauranga Mahap. They are going to contribute the excellency of Gauranga Mahap. Aye, Ram Leela, Krishna Leela, Gauranga Leela. So if there is at all any problem, okay, there is one excellent, excellent, excellent divine object. Objective, very high. So there is one high objective, there is. There must be some problem. Even in Vrindavan, when Gopikas are fighting with each other, like Chandrabali, that's fighting, I cannot compare with your fighting. Be sure, someday I can discuss. Chandrabali is fighting and Radharani, they are, they are fighting, I cannot call, I am not so foolish. I am not so foolish, I can compare with this. Because I have some symptom, na. I have some machine. Very sensitive machine by, wh by which I can realize this, this category is not this category. 
for divine seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, for divine seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, for divine seva of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, there can be some fighting. But that fighting is separate. That we cannot define. That we cannot compare with your case. Your case not came up. Because it is out of jealousy. Out of jealousy is the problem. So, it is not the, it is not the yeah, yardstick. It is not the yardstick on the basis of which you can measure the standard of Vaishnava. It is not the yardstick. It is not the yardstick by the help of which you can measure the standard of Vaishnava. What is that? Oh, I have countless temples all over the world. I have countless disciples all over the world. I mean, you have so much riches, so much influence, you know. So much influence. Who can come in front of me? This is not a yardstick. It is my strong appeal. You try to consider what I mean to say. Even one Vaishnava cannot make one a disciple. Even one disciple. But still, he can enjoy full, full and full keep of Gaurangama. Like Gaurakishya Baba. Bhagavan Das Bhajima. Bhumshita Dvajya, whom they are going to make them? They are not going to make any disciple. For that you cannot criticize. Divine character, divine behavior, divine qualities of Vaishnava, even those who are demigods, they cannot understand. Vaishnava chinite nare devere shakti, written in Chaitanya Bhagavad. Even demigods, they are in confusion. They are in confusion. Who is, is Vaishnava? Cannot understand. Even demigods, they can understand is Vaishnava is not. How is possible for you to pass this kind of dirty remarks about Guru Vaishnava? Oh my God! Dangerous, dangerous. Because it's chain wise, it is a chain reaction. When you are going to criticize one Vaishnava, it's okay. You can try to beg for pardon. When you are going to countless aparat, a Vaishnava writing so wrong in books and papers and going to distribute all over the world, that, that, that criticism has some after effect. Try to understand. If I criticize somebody in front of you, in front of you, no recording, nothing. Okay, I can see. But if I am going to criticize somebody over my harikatha, by my writing, everything, all over the world, then it is called chain reaction. Going to misguide people. Understand, na? If I am going to criticize someone alone, no recording, nothing. Still, I can beg for pardon someday. But you are doing mistake, you are writing in books, all papers, everything, all dialogue, everything, everywhere. That those Vaishnav, they are not Vaishnav, they are beast. They are fallen so. What is this? Then the whole world are misled. You gone from this world, okay. But you are going to mislead the whole world. Because they are not going to change. They are not going to change, you know. Anyway, they cannot change. They think we have money power. But you don't know if Balaji Maharaj want, Balaji Maharaj want, can take Durjodhan and throw out. So, if Bhallaji Maharaj is going to take action, then you can get destroyed like dust particle. Like dust particle you can get destroyed. Don't try to express false ego. It's not good. A chain reaction all over the world. Everybody getting misinformation that all Gauriya devotees are, they are idiot, rascal, they are foolish. Then it will bring bad name in your name. Then next generation can come, someday they can realize my harikatha. After that they can realize who is good and who is bad. What is wrong information, what is Siddhanta, they can realize. Then everybody can spit on your face. What to do? Very bad. So, one such exalted devotee, whose name is 
Bhaktalak Paramahansa Maharaj. His name is Bhaktalak Paramahansa Maharaj. He's a great devotee. But if you ask all over the world, all over the world, nobody knows. Who, who is he? If you ask him, any paper, oh, we don't know who is he. Bhaktalak Paramahansa. He is so exalted devotee, so exalted devotee, who was successful to get full kipa of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati by Seva Mukta. By Seva Mukta. He was initiated, Harinam and Diksha he took from Prabhupada, very nice devotees, very nice. So, his name was Mahanam Prabhu, Mahananda, his name was, Brahmachari name, Brahmachari name. He was giving responsibility, he was giving responsibility of Bhagavad Presh, Bhagavad Presh. Bhagavad Presh, on behalf of Chaitanya Mahat, I mean, on behalf of Chaitanya Mahat, Popat wanted to open one press in Krishnanagar. That press and the area are now converted into temple. But previously it was only press. Korea mission, they are going to and run that temple. When you go through the car towards Krishnanagar station, before the bent, last bent, you can find one temple right hand side. Big area. There was one press. And the whole responsibility of the press was given to Mahananda Prabhu. He was the fittest personality. And there Prabhupada used to used to print so many books and papers from Krishnanagar Bhagavad Press. Bhagavadji Mahapuran. All twelve canto, all printed there. He was very educated, very soft quality, very nice looking, very, you know, catchy personality, very soft personality, very efficient in Guru Seva. So, Prabhupada wanted to give a response. He wanted to expand. How? Because at present, you can find billions, billions of dollars in the pocket of those Acharyas. Billions of dollars. They, even they cannot count. But that time, Popad had no money. How to run Chaitanya Mahat? You can cry if you know, if I go on speaking. But still the thing, Ananda. They are not thinking about vitamin, protein, shortage. They are never thinking. All vitamin, protein, everything coming from Gurudev. Because they are interested to, to reach the lotus feet of Bhagavan. And your target is different. If I can, if I, if I speak to my Guru Maharaj, that when I was there in your temple, then there was shortage of vitamin, protein, everything. And it took, it took years to to recover my body health, then I am not a man. I am not a man. How I can speak? How I can expect vitamin, protein? How? Because we know everything coming. Then? So, there was no money. So, Mahanam Prabhu, Mahananda Prabhu, he started earning some money for Bhagavan. Why? How? The press is engaged. The press is engaged in our seva, Goryamat seva. Okay. Then, then leisure time, night time, this, that. He used to give full energy to print papers and books of outside. Purposely. To earn money. So that he can buy papers and give money. I mean, some extra money to Prabhupada. It's not business. 
don't think that it is business. He started. And the king of king of Nadia. No need of speaking the name, I know him. No need of speaking the name. Name is not important. The king of Nadia. He wanted to preach, print some very important papers. But very quickly. Then by chance they contact with Mahanam Prabhu. They request you can do it. Well, okay, we can try. But king can give you nice remuneration. Then Mahanam Prabhu immediately started, you know, printing everything. And when these books and papers, you know, gone in the hand of king, after reading, king gone mad. There is not even a single mistake. King was surprised. Come on, there is not even a single mistake. How possible? I like to meet that. I like to meet that devotee who took responsibility. So well, from today onward, we are not going to go to Calcutta. From today on, we need not go to Calcutta. We are getting quality printing here in Kishanagar itself. King started giving money, donation, everything, and Mahanam Prabhu started purchasing land in the name of. Gauriya Mahat Chaitanya Mahat. How excellent. Now, if some devotee gives responsibility, guest house, bookstore, they can take some money here, backside. This is their seva. And Brahmachari Sanyasi getting salary, <laughs> it is a, it is a, Brahmachari Sanyasi getting salary, <laughs> what is that? Why not they get to a different office and, why? Eh? It's a black history. How possible? Your life is dedicated. First mistake you are doing, I can point out, your life is not dedicated. Your life is not, you are useless. Better you can go to home and earn money and ma marry somebody and lead your life. Eh? You are taking a salary? Is is uh, joking. How possible? Eh? Far better to go to home and marry and lead your life. <laughs> so, so Mahanam, Mahananda Prabhu started purchasing big land. If you go to Rautara, you don't know. In my whole life, I went there one time. One devotee take me in cycle. In cycle, I sit in the backside. Long distance, going, going. Dam, doom, dam, <laughs> going there. Long distance. Nishingapalli, temple, just opposite lane from there. Long, uh, to 10, 15 kilometers away. I go there and watch the temple, Rautara temple of Prabhupada. Oh, there is one Gaur Vigra and huge, wherever you look, wherever you look, all around that land of Chaitanya Mahat. All, wherever you look, your, your eyesight cannot reach. All, purchased by this, this Mahananda Prabhu, so that he can grow paddy wheat, paddy wheat, eh? master seed, everything, and can send to Chaitanya Mahatma. You see the mood? Uh, this way, anything anybody like to buy, suppose some machine, something, they all, they are supposed to contact with Ma Mahananda Prabhu. He can buy, nobody can take risks. He is very sensitive, very sensitive, very accurate his. Calculation, everything. So anything need, somebody need, they must contact Canada, uh, this Prabhu, uh, Mahanam, Mahananda Prabhu, he can arrange buying. So intelligent. So anything we need, like hand tractor, anything, or anything, but they like to contact. So his, his name was given, nickname. So his, so his nickname was given, Kenaram Prabhu, Kenaram. His his nickname was given Kenaram Prabhu. Kenaram Prabhu? Bayar Bayar Prabhu. <laughs> Kenaram Prabhu means who is always buying. <laughs> Kenaram Prabhu is a nickname. Very nice nickname of the devotee. His name was uh, given Kenaram Prabhu. Always buying land and property, this for Chaitanya Mahar, messing this, that, anything. <laughs> well, Kenaram. So, Bayar Prabhu, who is, who is very efficient in buying something. 
Kenaram Prabhu. Follow. So nice. And not only that, our Nishikanta Shannal, you know the great exalted devotee, Grihastha devotee. You don't never worry. Worldwide famous all over the world. Nishikanta Shanyal as the professor of philosophy of Ravensa College in Katak. World famous. By reading whose book, our Sadananda Prabhu, when he was at home, was moved. Huh? Who is writing this kind of book? I like, I like to know the guru of this writer of the book. Who is writing this kind of book? What is the, uh, what is the, you know, you know, quality of that guru? Who is that guru? So I like to know by what reading one 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 article of. So you see, you can understand. Papa was bound to speak with joking mood, very enjoying mood. After watching this book written by Nishikanda Sannal, Papa was bound to speak. Nishi Babu, Nishi Babu has done such a great seva, which costs which cost lakhs of rupees. Nishi Babu has done such a seva, which cost lakhs of rupees. We cannot uh, we cannot do it anymore. So nice seva. By reading that book, oh, so nice. So if you say they are useless idiot, it's big Vaishnava Paradna. You should not speak now. We all we love all Guru Varga. They have some suppose this Guru Varga has some speciality. This Guru Dev, my Guru, another Guru has some speciality. But for that we cannot speak this way. It's not good. So Nishikanta Sanyal externally. Externally, you can discover he is a Grihastha. Externally, you can discover he is Grihastha. Grihastha devotee, professor of philosophy, big high class professor. But internally, he was more than a sannyas. Internally, if you can, if you have the scope to meet with him, one day our Rishikesh Maharaj was the disciple of Chaita, was the disciple of Madhav Goswami. I write already. In books you can find. He is in charge of Calcutta Mount. Someday he sent me to his house. But he left body long ago. I am not going to meet him long ago. 25 years back. He sent me. You can go to his house to bring some information. I went there. I, me I meet with the daughter, this uh, son, everybody. Follow. Long ago. So I am lucky. I meet with so much nice, nice place I went. So, Nishikanta Sannal, externally, Grihastha devotee. But internally, he was more than a sannyas. Why? Whatever salary he used to draw, whatever salary he used to draw, all he used to pack and give to Popa. After private tuition, this, that, some money, somehow used to manage family. Papa was very worried. Why you are giving whole salary to me? How you can maintain your family? He is not giving any answer. All is drawing, drawing salary and giving to Papa. Chaitanya Mahārāja. Papa was very anxious. Papa is not good. And he used to manage his family by private tuition. Private tuition, no? given to give some lesson to somebody. He is giving something. By this collecting money, this he somehow used to you see the dedication. It is my request to you all. You try to consider. Try to consider all Siddhanta Vichar, how great they are. Finally, Popa took decision to send some money from that salary. Anyway, he is not going to take. Nishikanta Sivana give Nishikanta Babu going to give the whole salary. So Popa took decision, okay, well, he is going to give whole salary, so I can take some, I can take some amount out and put for the expense of his family. I cannot let him know what I am doing. So he engaged Mahananda Prabhu, because he is very expert. Mahananda Prabhu, you can do one thing. What, what, what? 
Prabhupada, what thing? I can give you some money every month out of the salary drawn by, but anyway, he's not going to take. You can very secretly, you can spend this money for the family expenses. But like the education of children, I mean, family expenses, like even a doctor, whatever is way you can do. Yes, Prabhupada, if you say, 100% I can do. 100% I can do. So, Mahanam Prabhu, so intelligent, he, he engaged two, two gentlemen, very nice Vaishnav, their Gyastha Vaishnav. Mahanam Prabhu, Mahanam Prabhu directly not going to their house to take information about wife and children. It's not good, because he is renounced order, na? He is now Brahmachari. So, so intelligent, he wanted to keep balance with the order of Prabhupada, at the same time, the general rules to be followed by Guru Anna uh, no, Vaishnavas. I mean, those who are in renounce order. He engaged two very nice gentlemen from Calcutta. Could you please take it from us? Yes. And they used to go, Ma, mother, what do you need? You need some I mean, salary, uh, school, school fees, and salary of this, that, and some in servant, this, that. They used to Prabhupada, they used to give money to Mahananda Prabhu. Mahananda Prabhu, even Mahananda Prabhu, even even in the whole life, not going to the house of that Grihastha devotee. But still, he was successful to manage. So nice. Whole life taking responsibility. So expert. Prabhupada was so happy by watching the seva of Mahananda Prabhu, who so cannot. Even our Santa Maharaj, very small boy that time, very small boy. Santa Maharaj, maybe 12, 14, 13, 13, 14 years. I used to go by cycle. So, Mahananda Prabhu, ah, Popa sent me to take papers. Okay, you take papers. Papers for printing, because printing press was also there in Chaitanya Mahat. Also there. So, you see, what kind of dedication was there in them? What kind of sacrifice? They never wanted to earn any name and fame. Never. Personal name. No, no. They always to give everything in the name of Chaitanya Mahat, Gauriya Mahat, Prabhupada, all. Even nobody have any information about the dedication of that great devotee, Mahananda Prabhu. No information. I am crying sometimes. Why so? Why so? Before hearing, before hearing all rubbish about the Guru Vishnu, why I am not going to try? Before hearing all rubbish about our Guru Varga, why I am, why I am living still today? I should have died much before. Popa speaking. Popa wanted to solve this insult of Raghunath Das Goswami. Somebody wanted to insult Raghunath Das Goswami, Popa wanted to find solution as a Acharya. So never mind, never mind, it is the duty of an Acharya to establish Siddhanta. So I am acting as Acharya, I must speak heavily, but I cannot speak anything wrong. I cannot make any Vaishnava Aparat, sure, be sure about it, 100%. Over sanguine, I am not, but I must establish Siddhanta. So that today or tomorrow, or after 20 years, after 25 years or 50 years, when I'm not there, still people can get some light of Hari Bhajan, actual Hari Bhajan. Because they are all misled, all misphilosophy, mis Siddhanto, wrong Siddhanto, misled all. Whole world. This way, this way, if for infinity period, this way, if for infinity period, they are going to do Harinam. And they are going to do this and that under the guidance of some fallen guru. Infinity period, they cannot get any result. Infinity period. Because, because already, you know, Pitama Vishwa already told. Pitama Vishwa already told. This kind of guru should be rejected at once who has no knowledge about what to speak, what to speak, what not to speak, how to deal, what, how, and which way. Pitama Vishya speaking. 
Pitama Vishwa speaking. So, who is having no knowledge about Shastra Gyan, no etiquette, no respect for Guru Vaishnava, many documents I can, countless documents, documents I can give to you. Pitama Vishwa speaking, they should be rejected at once. At once. Rejected. Utpata Patipanasya, Utpata Patipanasya Paritag Vidhiyati. Utpata Patipanasya Paritag Vidhiyati. This kind of guru is have no idea about Vaishnava Siddha, nothing useless. They should be rejected at once. If you are going to keep that guru, then you have to go to infinity. You have to go to hell with guru. Be careful. So, Mahanam Prabhu, I am going to cut short because time cannot give, uh, time cannot permit. So, Mahanam Prabhu, after Prabhupada gone, after Prabhupada gone, after Prabhupada gone, there was some little bit Jogumaya going because otherwise, if they are in one place, they can, their preaching cannot be, cannot expand. But tomorrow I can establish or Srila Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, whom you are speaking, Madhav, Madhav, a Madhav group. This way you are speaking. Like Madhav Goswami Maharaj is a beast, speaking this way. Who was the only person gave you, gave you new life? You forget today. Who gave you new life? You are supposed to die. No money, nothing. But now you are speaking Madhav. That Madhav Maharaj, who was the strict follower of Prabhupada. Under the guidance of Prabhupada, he wanted to do. Now what, is, what they are doing, I am not going to take responsibility. Now what they are going, I am going to take the principle and idealism of my Guru Maharaj. I am going to take the idealism of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. I am listening to what they are doing. Now they can make Everywhere you can, which mount you can put purity, you can put, you can show purity, everywhere this. So now what to do? Now Goryamat is one powerful devotee. He himself is Goryamat. One powerful, very like fire. He himself one Goryamat. Wherever he is going, he can speak about Goryamat, Prabhupada, Siddhanta. So this way you will have to change your Darshan. You will have to find fault. Oh, Madhav Goswami, what they are doing? I am not going to take responsibility. I can take the responsibility of the idealism and Siddhanta Vichara of my Guru Maharaj. Siddhar Maharaj, you can put any question, I can give answer. But I am not going to take responsibility of those foolish people, those going to run society and temple. I am not going to name. It is business. They are not doing bhajan. They are not doing bhajan. They are not doing bhajan. Three times I'm speaking. They are doing business. Three times I'm speaking. To confirm. So I am listening to what they are doing. They are going to cut their throat. They are going to cut their tail. If somebody is going to cut their tail, going to cut their throat, what I can do? Well, let them do. I have no time. Better I can go on speaking Harikatha, someday somebody can hear and change their life. What I can do? I can fight with them, huh? I can go. No time. If there is any common sense, they can rectify themselves. So, after Prabhupada gone, Mahanam Prabhu, you know, started preaching Harikatha. One temple, he made all there in uh, the crossing of Hajra, Hajra. One. If you go to Chaitanya Gauri Bhatt from Calcutta, you never, ever you go? When? Who went? You went, no? That is one. Uh, Purushottam knows. There was, I, uh, many times I was there before, at the time of Tito Mahal, long ago. For printing job, I was supposed to stay there to do. Because press was then in Calcutta. Press printing job, computer, so. So, before going to Chaitanya Gauri, you can meet with one five point, uh, four point crossing. Four. One is going to Taliganj, one is left hand, uh, left hand side, one is right hand side, Kaligarh, back side, Baliganj, 
there's one crossing. Just near Hajra, there was one small temple. Small temple. First of all, he never wanted to act as an acharya. Very humble. Very humble, very humble, so humble, he never wanted. But it is, the, it is the arrangement of Gauranga. It is the arrangement of Gauranga. He was bound to take the responsibility of Acharya Sip. Bound. Because there was an old, old temple. You don't know, you never heard. Popat went there in preaching. And many times in my life, I went there to speak Harikatha. Almost forest. If, if, you're, if you're car going, any time elephants and cheetah can come out. And I went in the way to, in the way to that temple. Follow. Udala. The name of the place is Udala. In the way of that place, some day some devotee took me to the ancient house of Siddha Samipad. Remote village area, village area. The up and down. Ah, oh. I went there in the house of Siddha Samipad. Old house. There, village area. And anytime elephant can come. Any time, mad elephant, a cheetah, follow, can come, tiger. So, now development going on, government going to take care so that they cannot come and disturb. Anyway, uh, many times I went there in Udala, there is one Gauri Mart, Gauri, Gauri Mart, Sri Barsobhanabi Gauri Mart, Udala. The owner of the temple, I mean the original acharya of the temple was Parvat Goswami Maharaj, who was the resident of Surabhikunju. He took birth here. He was Brajavasi. Parvat Goswami Maharaj took birth there. Surabhikunju, there adjacent to Surabhikunju. There. Surabhikunju. He took birth. He Ha, he used to go to meet with Bhaktivinoda Thakur in Sanandu long ago. Follow. He used to hear Jaiva Dharma from that Parvat Maharaj was the owner of that land because the king of Orisha going to donate big amount of land to this great exalted devotee. So, when Maharaj gone, when Maharaj gone, I mean, when Parvat Goswami Maharaj gone, Bhakti Shamanda Parvana, then everybody requesting ma my Guru Pat Padma. Maharaj, you can act as an acharya of that mod. Guru Maharaj was very simple. You know, say, uh, I cannot maintain my expenses here, so I have no name. Because Guru Maharaj never can ask ma anything from. Uh, very alarm, very small alarm. Very so Guru Mahal told, if you can arrange this kind of expenses here, because my seva going on, then I can think. Guru Mahal didn't take the responsibility, because he was, Guru Mahal was busy with Bani Shiva, no? Always. So, all our Jadwar Goswami Maharaj, all our Siddhar Maharaj, Siddha, all the speaking to, to this Mahananda Prabhu, you can take responsibility. It's more practical. You are a learned man. You have your ability. You are enjoying full kipa, Prabhupada. So, they all together, jointly, make Ovishek. Ovishek, you know? Of Maharaj, of temple. So, he was bound to act as an Asha. So, finally, he took sannyas from Parampajivad, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. And the Bhakta Lok, Bhakta Lok, this title was given by Prabhupada in Gaur Dham Pracharani Sabha. Great big assembly there Prabhupada wanted to honor that the disciple with garland and one blessing certificate. Blessing certificate. 
My Guru Maharaj also received. So, what was the title given by Prabhupada? What was the title given by Prabhupada? Bhakta Lok. Bhakta Lok, Bengali word you can speak. Also in Sanskrit, I can say Bhakta Lok. It is also good. But English you cannot understand. Bhakta Lok mean? Bhakta Lok mean? The effulgence of Bhakti. Enormous, enormous amount of Bhakti is there inside that particular personality. Mahananda Prabhu, his power, light emitting. So you see the title given by Prabhu. Bhakta Alak. So enormous amount of Bhakti, he can show light to others. Bhakta Alak Paramahansa Maharaj. Paramahansa. So Bhakta Alak, this title was already there given by this Bhakta, Bhakta Alak. Bhakta Alak, this title was already given by Popa. And Siddhar Maharaj is very clever. Siddhar Maharaj is so intelligent, super, super. Through meditation, you could realize if the title given by Prabhupada is Bhakta Lak, that means that his original name should be Paramangsa. Because very intelligent Siddhar Maharaj, oh, if title given by Prabhupada is Bhakta Lak, Bhakta Lak means? Only Paramahansa, they can show light to others. Ah. Then, Siddhar Maharaj is going to give the name after giving sannyas. Siddhar Maharaj is going to select, select this name. What is the name? Bhak Bhakta Alok Paramahansa Maharaj. Bhakta Alok Paramahansa Maharaj. Follow. So innocent, so innocent. So innocent. You, even you cannot hear the loud voice of you can never hear the loud voice like me <laughs> of Siddhar Maharaj. So humble. Um, so, see what to do? Finally, he got one temple there and you know, already arranged one temple in Calcutta, South Calcutta, near Chaitanya Gurim, I already told. Follow? Already he was elected as the Acharya of you know, that uh, Udala temple, Urissa. So, finally what to do? He wanted to arrange one temple here in much before, not now. I mean, before taking the responsibility there in Udala, he wanted to take one, procure one land, small piece of land. So, not big, you can, you can check up. From Sib Mandir, you know the Sib Mandir, where I go? From Sib Mandir, keeping left hand side, if you move towards Gopinath Goryamata, I mean, then first of all, you can make, meet with some temple where one woman and one said i don't like to speak after that you cross you can find one temple that temple paramahansa maharaj after that you cross you can find the temple of bhakti shaura bhakti shar six and six and six and gauranga that land was procured but no money to make temple what to do so he is waiting he is waiting to arrange some money, some Bhagavad, desire of Bhagavad. In the meantime, some refugee, some refugee from Bangladesh, they are watching, wow, very nice place at the bank of Ganga without money. We can capture that land. They make bamboo structure of the, ah, oh, nicely they are staying there and cooking, eating. <laughs> Hold on. But Maharaj is very innocent. He goes, hey, why you come here? They are not going to hear. Maharaj is very simple, huh? Hey, why you come here in my land? They are not going to obey. Then, then Paramahansa Maharaj is going to speak with Chaitanya Gorimat. That time Madhukushin Maharaj was there, or I forget. Madhukushin was there. Then our Bharati Maharaj came to know about the situation. What? Bangladeshi people going to capture your land? Yes, they are not going to give me a, one. My, my land is not, not going to give my uh, place to me. Well, Maharaj, you go. I, I alone is sufficient to uh, give treatment to them. Then Narottama Bhamacharya Bharati Maharaj is a stout figure, very tall figure, very nice, with one bamboo lati stick, bamboo stick, very going to that place. And with stick here, 
Within 24 hours, I give you. Within 24 hours, you will have to back end the land. If not, I am going to Calcutta, coming with the full police force and everything, and you will have to meet with big problem. I say you, last time. I am just 24 hours giving, you try, oh, we are poor man, we make this structure, this, this, we can. Okay, we can give some money to you for buying bamboo. But anyway, you have to back end the land. You see the Seva, Vaishnav Seva. Bharti Maharaj never speak this way. But for Vaishnav Seva, is taking one big stick, top, as if going to beat them. A <laughs> stick. Hey! Back in this land. And they are so powerful because their son, their son getting one service in police station. So they think, oh, my son is uh, having a policeman. So what they can, Bharati was speaking, you don't know, the service of your son can go away, be careful. I am coming back with full force. I like to see that the place is clean and it will go away from that. I give you 20 words, 24 hours time. By watching the figure of Bharati Maharaj, they become very fearful. Ah! Be powerful. If he's going to start fighting with B and a stick, then we can die. So powerful man. <laughs> they all live. <laughs> they all live. They all live. Gone. Living that place. This way, Bharati Maharaj was successful to make the land back end. You see, for Vaishnav Seva, for Vaishnav Seva, I need to take one stick in my hand. I'm ready. For Vaishnav Seva, if you need to speak heavy, I can do it. I am not doing it. I have no personal interest, no? I am going to establish Siddhanta to save the whole world. But foolish world, they are misguided. They don't like to accept my vichar. They are, they are greedy, idiot, foolish. What to do? This way, our Mahanam Prabhu, who finally took sannyas, finally who took, finally he, who took sannyas from Siddhar Maharaj, and the name was Bhaktalak Paramang. I already explained the name, Bhaktalak Paramang Swaj. From then onward, he is giving some initiation to somebody. Not very, a, a very few, a very few number of people. I know some very, some powerful Griyastha. I know some powerful Gyasta. Udala, Udala, Uriya. Gyasta there. So powerful. Gyasta. They took initiation from Bhaktala Param. I saw them. So powerful. Such Shastra knowledge. So etiquette pure. Doing Kirtan in the morning. Gyasta. Old man. But so powerful. Gyasta means not a useless. Not that. If you are very intelligent, you can lead your life, you can become powerful. So, so high memory, all Kirtan, morning to has started doing. I, I was there during the time of Ratha Yatra. During the time of Ratha Yatra, I was there in Chaitanya Gurimat. There, I saw the man. Oh my God, finally, I said, Who is your Gurudev? I go there, Bhakta Alak Paramahansa. Ah, really? Bhakta Alak Paramahansa. So you too. So, a very a few, a very few devotees can deserve that I am the disciple of Bhaktala Param. Not that everybody can deserve. Maybe they have taken Harinam Diksha. So many people took Harinam and Diksha from Prabhupada. We cannot say that the disciple of actual disciple of Prabhupada. We cannot say this way. Anyway, so Bhaktala Paramahansa Maharaj making temple here, finally, started giving initiation, preaching, everything, so nice, you know. Anyway, so, our Madhu Goswami Maharaj was such an exalted personality. He used to always stay with God brothers, Bhaktala Paramahansa Maharaj, Jajavar Maharaj, Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj, and we are Busy in fighting. Bhaktala Paramahansa. 
the most the most important factor now i like to say day by day i can go on speaking if i have your power you can catch otherwise you can forget popat bhaktivinod thakur all of them they told the symptom of a pure vaishnav many time many i also told many time but you are not ready to accept me what i can do bhaktivinod thakur popat told Bhakti Mataur Popa told those who are growing interest for Harinam, those who are growing interest for serving Guru Guru Vishnuab, according to that proportionate, what amount what amount of attraction you are feeling for Guru? If I am feeling tremendous, if I am feeling tremendous attraction for Popa and Guru Bhargav. then it is possible for me to follow them otherwise otherwise verbally i can follow them practically i can follow them. so many time popad wanted to point out you can understand a vaishnav by watching his rigidity anyhow if you let to kill him he is not going to change siddhanta sharalata simplicity inside outside same dirata rigidity eh and another i told uh eh nirapekshata neutral three vital after that baba told according to the ratio according to ratio of your attraction for guru pad padma for sampraday be careful you can i am giving you the speck by wearing which you can understand which vaishnav or not was i am giving you speck spectacle if you wear the speck you will understand non vaishnav you have no love for sampraday no love for guru varga no love for sampraday then you are not at all vaishnav any amount of title maybe 1 km title One kilometer title. Your your title may be extended up to one kilometer. So, what is concerned to me? Yes, what is concerned to me? We are interested about your divine quality. This cannot prove that you have divine quality. You are going to speak all rubbish for Guru Vishnu. We are we are not foolish on the basis of the how many temple, how many laws. Oh, we are not so foolish we are not so foolish so papa wanted to teach us you can watch a vaishnav how much attraction he has for guru pad padma for sampraday for hari naam finally hari naam the top most example by the help of which you can understand he was a great devotee he used to do hari naam maha mantra he used to do hari naam one lakh hari naam so carefully with full love so we can understand secretly a a raganuga devotee rupanuga devotee can never like to identify himself as rupan like sridhar oh, i know nothing i am foolish there is a symptom manam prabhu follow he took birth in the year of 1896 even before my guru ma took birth my guru padma took birth in the year of 1898 two years before paramansu mar took took birth so you see and my guru ma used to respect him not only love respect him when is abhirbhav tithi abhirbhav nobody knows it was discovered by madhugusima secretly you are watching a some day uh, puri gushima maharaj going with a sweet packet sweet and all cloth 
garland going, where, where going? Where going? Let me watch. Sridhar Maharaj, I am in Madhu Goswami, arrest my Guru Maharaj. You can speak me, what is the date? I am not going to speak. Ah, you must speak, where you are going? I went to Paramahansa Maharaj's temple to offer garland. You see the mood. Every birthday, every year, Guru Padma used to take sweet packet, garland, any senior devotee, any devotee used to go. One single, you can, Guru Mahal wrote so many books and articles, so many. You can point out one place where Guru Mahal is speaking all rubbish against Guru Vaishnava. One, one. I am not one, two, I two, I know one. One, one you show me. If you show me, I can throw my best and go away. One, countless writing, never speaking. Always humble. Always humble. Just This is the mood of Vaishnava. Vaishnava doesn't mean he should be like a cat with water in whole body. In Bengali there is one proverb. Vijay Beral, Vijay Beral. You don't know. A Beral cat never want to take bath. If you give water, they can jump and go away. <laughs> so, when cat is full, <laughs> you can try to, if you give water to cat, cat can laugh. They don't, don't like to take bath. Follow. Always. So, this is the condition. Our Guru Bargo is going to teach us that please try to learn Vaishnava etiquette. How to love Vaishnava? So really I am lucky. Last moment when I came, that, that time also, I got the opportunity to meet with big, big Vaishnavas. Big, big Vaishnavas. I was lucky, very lucky. Follow. Oh, so nice. So I am today. Whatever, a little bit position you find. I think I have no position. But if at all Vaishnava, but a little bit. I am going to give to Prabhupada and Guru Bhargava. I am not going to take. It is like stool and urine. Contaminated. The day, the day I can think I am speaking Harikatha. I cannot speak Harikatha. So tomorrow I can discuss some special point. I cannot take control over Vaishnava. I cannot think that Vaishnavas are there in the same platform like me. Vaishnava is my, is my friend. I cannot speak. I cannot chastise them. I cannot chastise the Vaishnava. They are already pure. This I point, I can discuss tomorrow. Today, excuse me, no time cannot permit. So, the first slok I discuss, I have no time to discuss. First, I can speak now. Titik Shabaha, Karani Kaha, Sruhidaha, Sarvadehinam, Ajata Satravaha, Shantaha, Shadavo, Shadu, Bhushanaha. I can explain tomorrow this sloka. And one slok, 15 days ago, Najatra Vaikuntha Katha Sudhapaga Najatra Shadva Bhagavataha Tadasraya. I can discuss. I remember 15 days, 15 days, 20 days before. I remember tomorrow I can discuss the special two truths. Vanchakalpatra Vashikamas.